Given a collection of values, how do you identify whether some value is present in that collection? Computer programs do so by making use of searching algorithms. Today, we'll be looking at two of these, linear and binary searching algorithms. In its simplest form, a search function takes a collection of values and a singular value and reports whether the given value exists in that collection. For our purposes, let's consider this array of integers. And the number we want to search for, say, is 7. We start from the leftmost position, that is index 0, and start comparing it with each of the values in the array until we find 7, or the array has been exhaustively searched. In this case, we report that 7 was found at index 6. Let's run this against a value that isn't presented in the array. Starting from the left, we go all the way to the right, comparing each value that comes in its path, and see that none of the comparisons were true, and finally say that 6 was not found. In cases like these, where the values to be searched for is not presented in the array, this method is going to take a while if the array is too large. Some other times, we can get lucky and find the value in the first comparison. This is called the linear search, where we traverse in a line comparing the given value with every value in the collection until either the collection is exhausted or the value is found. What if we have a sorted array? Linear search didn't care whether the array was sorted, so it would work just fine. But we can leverage the fact that the array is sorted and perform a faster search involving significantly less number of comparisons. The idea is to start from the middle of the array and take decisions based on the comparison between the given value and the value at that position. We'll keep track of three things, a left, a right, and a mid that's just left plus right by two. We always compare the given value with the value present at mid. And if our value is equal to the value at mid, then we come to know that our value exists. If our value is bigger, then we can for sure say that it's not going to be in the left half of the array because we know that the array is sorted in a non-decreasing order and cut down the left half by setting left to mid plus one. And if our value is smaller, we can cut down the right half of the array by setting right to mid minus one. We keep cutting down until left surpasses right. Let seven be our value again. We can see that seven is greater than 3, which means 7 has to be somewhere in the right half of the array. So we'll make our new array to be the right half by setting left to mid plus 1 and recomputing mid as left plus right by 2, that is 5 plus 8, 13 by 2, 6.5, flooring it to 6. We compare 7 with the value present at the newly computed mid and see that it is in fact equal to our given value, outputting 7 was found at index 6. Let's do the same drill for 2. Start at the middle, 2 is less than 3, so we check down the right half by bringing right to mid minus 1 and recomputing mid. Compare 2 with the value at the new mid, 2 is greater than 0, we check down the left half now by bringing left to mid plus 1 and recomputing mid. And finally landing at 2 at index 3. Let's search for 6. 6 is greater than 3, so we set left to 5 and mid to 6. 6 is less than 7, so we set both right and mid to 5. 6 is greater than 5, so we set left to 6. And that's where we need to stop, when left becomes greater than right. We can now say that 6 was not found. This is called the binary search, which eliminates half the array with each comparison. Do note that this method will only work on sorted arrays, but is going to have a significant performance boost when the array is large when compared to linear search. If you're not sure about the sortedness, you can go for the simpler linear search. That's all for this one. I want to ask, uh, you know what you can do to support me if you like the content. Thanks for watching.